The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey, it's me again. I figured I would do a quick video on this while I'm in the process of building things. I am putting together the constant flow or continuous flow wicking beds. Oh great, the fans just turned on. Uh, excuse that noise. But I figured I would do a video on this while I'm building it so I don't have to try to explain things later because I have had a lot of people asking me how in the world are you going to do that? Well, it's really not that hard. We'll start with the beginning of it. 55 gallon barrel sunken in the ground to about the 50 gallon mark. I got to cut a hole in the top here to make a little door so I can get the pump in there. But basically, pump is going to have a flexible water line, that black tubing you see in ponds coming out of here, connecting to that barbed fitting. And this is just a three quarter inch thin wall uh, PVC pipe. It's not pressurized, so there's no need to spend the extra money for Schedule 40 stuff. But that goes all the way up to the end here. And as you can see, there are two ball valves there. The reason there's two is I'm going to have two rows of these. The other halves of these IBC tanks are outside. But the valves are there so I can regulate the flow into the beds. Now, the water comes in here and makes an immediate right turn or left turn, depending on which angle you're looking at it from. And these PVC pipes go into corrugated drain line. Now this is not perforated except for on the bottom where I put slices through there. And that's just to let the water evacuate a little better. That here, let me put that back on there. Okay, there, that's back. But basically, the water comes in, goes up to that corner, and it flows diagonally across each wicking bed. And there's also a guard over here. This one is going to have a cap on it in each one of these beds. But that's basically how it works. Your water goes up, diagonally escapes, does the same thing over and over until you get back down here. And these are all connected using just simple uh, uni seals. I didn't see any reason to buy bulkhead fittings. Uh, uni seals seem to work perfectly fine. And after it all comes back here, the water drains back into the barrel. Now the beauty with this setup is, um, well, first of all, it's not going to be aquaponics. It's just going to be bioponics using compost tea. But each one of these beds are going to have four inches of one inch river rock in the bottom of them. And then you simply put landscape fabric over top of those and that's so your potting soil can't get down into your gravel and start plugging things up. And then you just fill them up to the top with potting soil so you have at least uh, one foot of wicking. And that's really all there is to it. But the beauty of it is that you can add nutrients to that barrel in the ground down there if you need to. Um, you don't use aquaponics or fish water in it and have to worry about fish waste plugging up the gravel and having to clean it out. And oh, I guess I forgot to mention something. The reason that these uh, drain lines come all the way up to the top is just in case there is a plug, you know, something gets plugged up, you can get down in there with an air hose from an air compressor only hard to see. Uh, get in there with an air compressor and blow it backwards. If you happen to get a plug, you're likely never going to get one, but better be safe than sorry. 
and that's only chewing up about a four inch circle of growing space in in the beds there's still plenty of room to grow more stuff i think that's about all i have for this little introductory video i'm going to keep getting these all set up with the drain lines today and hopefully next sunday i have friends coming over that are going to help me um well bring the one inch river rock over here to put in there and then it's time to start putting that cement mixer to work making potting soil but this whole concept comes from a guy named rob gray he goes by rob bob on youtube uh he doesn't connect his together although he said if he had to do it again he would definitely do that but the whole wicking bed design that I'm working off of came from Rob Gray or Rob Bob sorry Rob <laughs> um, but that's all I have for this right now I got to get back to work because I think our weather is going to turn really crappy out here today so that's all take it easy to catch you around uh, next time bye